This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. And in my opinion, this is the closest we've ever got to a real life camera experience in a mobile phone. In this mobile phone, we have the best of both worlds. We have the control and quality of a mirrorless camera, but the mobility and size of a mobile phone. It was super handy having the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV on my recent trip to Norway because we literally only had 48 hours to be there and I wanted to capture a travel film in Norway that would do justice to the beauty of that country. The trip was also super special to me because it was my first time ever hiring someone to come along with me and film with me for my YouTube channel. Now, it was one huge step for me financially to become a full-time YouTuber, but it was even bigger step now to be able to finally hire someone else to join me on this trip, and that person was none other than my friend Marcus, who I actually met the very first time in Sydney, Australia when we first started this YouTube channel. And Marcus was actually one of the first ever guests that I had on my channel, which is really cool to do this full 360 and be back in Norway together where I'm doing YouTube full-time and Marcus as a full-time filmmaker, I was able to hire him to come on this project. Okay, enough of the sentimental moments. Back to the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. This mobile phone has three lenses. We've got the epically wide 16 millimeter, we've got the 24 millimeter, and then we have the world's first ever true optical zoom of 85 to 125 millimeter lens. That's right guys, this isn't that awkward digital zoom that a lot of mobile phones have that when you start to zoom in and film, it's just unusable. This true optical zoom actually will be usable when you're doing, you know, wildlife photography or videography or you want those sports shots, you can actually use the true optical zoom on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. There were so many shots on this trip that without the true optical zoom lens just wouldn't be possible. Marcus was able to get some really epic shots of me behind the scenes shooting with the Sony Xperia mobile phone and I was able to get this really cool silhouette shot where I had this nice compression of Marcus in front of this epic silhouette in vest cap which is the most western side I believe of Norway. At least that's what Marcus Marcus told me. All the lenses on this mobile phone are Zeiss lenses which has the Zeiss T coating which increases the contrast and sharpness and reduces reflection. When it comes to the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, the image quality really performs. I love the contrast, the sharpness and the dynamic range on this phone was really nice. And did I mention that I could do 4K 120 frames per second? Which is just insane because we were able to get such nice buttery smooth slow motion with a mobile phone. Marcus just cruising down with his longboard in the fjords of Norway and it was just epic. It was cinematic. It was a beautiful slow motion image coming out of this mobile phone. As well, while we were filming with 4K 24 frames per second, we were able to get some really nice stabilized smooth shots. Marcus was, you know, pushing in and following me while we were on vest cap and just getting those really nice cinematic shots. So I really appreciate the fact that this phone as well has a nice stabilization. On the photo side, we got a 20 frames per second burst mode, which is really nice if you want to capture some action moments. I took some photos of Marcus, you know, throwing his longboard in the air because that's what all cool people do. They just like to chuck their board in the air. But I was able to get some cool moments with the burst mode function. Another thing I really loved about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV was the autofocus feature. It really feels the exact same as when you're shooting, for example, with the Sony A7S III, where you have that eye detection, white square floating around, giving the confidence to know that yes, the phone is focusing and capturing capturing the subject that I want. Not only does it have an eye detection, but as well it has object tracking so you can click different objects and it's gonna have that white square focusing on that object and following that. As well with the Video Pro app in the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, you have full control. You can affect the shutter, the ISO, your white balance, and as well your audio levels, which is really nice because that means you have full control of what you want the phone to do. There's been definitely a lot of moments with other mobile phones where you don't have control over white balance or ISO or shutter and it's just not performing the way you want it to whereas with this phone you have full control and I really like that 
that about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. I also love that this phone just ergonomically fits really well. You can keep your left hand here, kind of doing this little, you know, square, half square bracket, half square bracket motion, and it fits nice in your hand. Being able to then get those nice, smooth, panning shots from left to right are pushing in, pushing out. And as well, you see right here, there is the shutter button. So by pressing this, you can press record on and off, which is in the perfect spot. So I can hold the phone like this, be able to press record on, record off when I want to. And as well, the way the Video Pro app works is that all the functions are pretty much on the right side of the app. So while I'm holding my hands like this, then with my right thumb, I can just click all the different functions I want, which, which is really nice because I can keep my hands like this to get that nice, smooth, stable footage, be able to control and then record with the index finger. Sony definitely really thought through the buttons and layout and just the ergonomics of this mobile phone from a photographer and filmmaker's perspective, which I really appreciate. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV as well has an incredible screen real estate of 6.6 .6 inches. This is perfect while you're shooting because you can nicely hold your camera, you can see everything that you're shooting, and as well, you can easily pick the different settings for your controls. A lot of times when your phone's very small, it's very hard to do everything, so if you wanna have a mobile phone that you're using a lot for photography and filmmaking, you wanna have that nice screen real estate on top of all this, you can as well use the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV as a monitor for your Sony Alpha camera. So I can actually take this phone, put it to my Sony A7S III and use it as a monitor, which is incredible having that multi-function in a mobile phone. Not only is this a phone that you can use to call, do all the things like that, you can use it to shoot photo, video and a monitor for your camera. And I really love that Sony has thought this through, creating this like an ecosystem with their mobile phone and their Sony mirrorless cameras. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV is as well water and dust resistant. And there was a moment on our trip where we are at this fjord with this glacier water coming down a little waterfall river. And I decided to have a little bit of fun and splash Marcus as he was filming with me, which he was not expecting. But hey, I did him a favor. I was refreshing him with beautiful glacier water. Sorry again, Marcus. Hopefully you can forgive me for that not so nice action. To wrap all of this up, in my opinion, the shooting experience with the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV was really enjoyable. Coming from a background of shooting with Sony cameras myself, picking up the mobile phone, it just felt really easy to get used to it, to get familiar with the controls, and just to start shooting and have some of those same features that I'm used to in my Sony Alpha cameras in a mobile phone was just very nice to shoot with. As well, being on a 48 hour road trip where we had limited access to plugging in sockets, it was really nice to have a mobile phone where the battery lasted very well, and as well, if we ever needed to charge up the mobile phone, we could just charge it with USB-C right in the car. Whereas with my Sony a7S III, while I was vlogging, I had four batteries with me, and there was no opportunities for me to charge those batteries because we were sleeping in either A, the car, or the tent. So there was a lot more stress with the Sony a7S III and worrying about batteries, whereas with this mobile phone, it was just so portable and easy to take along with this on the road trip. So who would I recommend this phone for? I would definitely recommend it for any photographer, filmmaker, enthusiast, because this is a great mobile phone. Sony has really stepped up the game with their three lenses, and as well the fact that it has its dual use of being not only a mobile phone to shoot with, but as well a monitor for your mirrorless camera. Thank you, Sony, for making it possible for Marcus and I to have an incredible 48 hours in Norway. We truly had the most epic time shooting with the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. And I wanna say thank you guys for being a part of this channel, watching this video up till this point. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe by clicking that button right there. I'd love to have you a part of this channel. All right, we are out of here.